What's up YouTube? Hammond Doc here, Dr. Kemp. And um, I'm in my Hammond organ room. And I just want to take a few minutes to talk about Watts and the importance of Watts as it relates to uh, Leslie amplifiers and speakers that are used in a Leslie tone cabinet. Now, a traditional vintage Leslie amplifier, like the 122. Well, well before I talk about that, let's, let's, let's talk about what, it, what a Watts. Watts is basically power. It's power. It's power. Um, and so when we're talking about an amplifier and it's Watts, it means that's how much power it emits. And when we're talking about speakers and the watts uh, rating for speakers, we're talking about how much power that speaker can can deal with, can handle. Okay, so when we're talking about a 122, 147 Leslie amplifier, those are rated at 40 watts. So, so they produce 40 watts of power. Um, that that goes to the Leslie uh, cabinet that goes to the, that is distributed to the speakers. So therefore, uh, you need speakers that are able to handle um, that type of power. If you have speakers that are not able to handle f at least f that type of power, forty watts of power, then you can. You, blow your speakers. You can, you can mess up your speakers. And, um, so you, you, so you, want, you want speakers that match in terms of wattage with your Leslie amplifier. So now there are other uh, amplifiers that, that people are making and they have high wattage and so forth and you have to use uh, appropriate speakers to match with those amplifiers, but I'm talking about the traditional vintage uh, Leslie amplifiers and the speakers that you need to work with those. Now, um, the vintage V21 uh, speaker, which uh, is the upper driver, and you've uh, I've demonstrated or showed you those or illustrated um, what those look like on uh, other videos. Those are, that's your traditional uh, speaker, upper driver. It's rated for, to be able to handle the, the 40 watts of an amplifier, of a Leslie amplifier. Uh, there are others that are on the market. The PD-60s, I believe those are like uh, uh, 60 watts. I've shown you those before. And then uh, your ferrofluids, the ferrofluids that are, that are sold by Hammond Suzuki. Those are rated at 100 watts, so they can certainly ho handle 40 watts. In fact, um, they can handle more than what your amplifier is able to put out. But um, and there's still room uh, for for more if you were to continuously push uh, that organ. It, that uh, ferrofluid driver can can sustain it. it. There's room for it to continue to handle the power. Uh, when it comes to the base woofers, um, in many cases, uh, when you when you go to buy a, if you buy one of the newer models of woofer or base speakers, it'll have the wattage uh, written on it, or there's uh, specification information about the wattage handling capacity of the, of the speakers. Um, it's pretty hard to find wattage information on some of the vintage uh, uh, base woofers. I, I've, I've seen some written down on the internet, but it's pretty hard to find that even. For example, on the C15s and the P15s, I've seen the number 35 uh, watts written down, 35 um, rating for the uh, P15LL. Whether that's accurate or not, I, I don't know. I do know this. Is that uh, and what is a P15 LL? That's 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 this big boy here. 
I know I know one thing, and it's not it's not written on here what it is. And like I said, I've seen it written 35. And so I know this. It can handle. <laughs> and this is a recone one. This is a newly recone one. So it can handle anything like a Leslie uh, amplifier can throw at it. Okay. So it can handle it. Um, I have some others that are way over the top. <laughs> way over. Uh, this is a JBL that has been reconed for 200 to handle, uh, be able to handle 200 watts. And one of the things that those who are professionals in audio business will say is that uh, you can, uh, by having a speaker that's rated too highly uh, relative to your amplifier, you can mess up your speakers or mess up your amplifier. So on, on those JBLs, I, those are my personal speakers. I used, uh, used them in my personal Leslie's here in my home, and I'm not playing those organs every day, play them from time to time as I want to or desire to. I don't even play the those Leslie's all the time. And um, and I like the way that they sound, but I also have uh, some additional equipment on my on my B3 organ and um, a booster EQ and so I know that uh, that JBL uh, bass speaker can handle anything that uh, my organs uh, is throwing out and anything that's going through my amplifier that bass woofer can handle it and and, and I have if components break down on my Leslie I know how to fix it and or I, I have plenty of Leslie's that I can switch out so I've never had any problem um, using the high rating high rated wattage base woofer but I would not recommend that uh, for a church or for a customer for continuous use if you're going to be using um, your organ on a continuous basis I recommend the P15L um, P15LL or a or a C15 uh, vintage C15 that has been reconed uh, for uh, your Leslie 122s and Leslie 147 uh, tone cabinet systems. That's that's the Hammond Dock recommendation. Uh, if you are going to step up with some of the high powered amplifiers that are being sold for example uh, BB organ sells a super uh, high powered amplifier and um, you're gonna pay some good money for that too I mean for that power you're gonna pay that money uh, but but if you wanted to have a super loud powerful uh, Leslie then that you would need to buy one of those super amplifiers that that my friend Bill uh, Brown sales, for example, and then you you would need to step up to these uh, 200 watt, 250 watt types of uh, of bass speakers to be able to handle the power rating of those amplif of the type of amplifier that he sells, and you would also have to be able to step up uh, with your upper driver. You can't just put in a regular upper driver with one of those amps and expect that it's going to be able to last. So, um, I think I've said enough about that and um, I hope that uh, these videos is uh, um, videos are are being of benefit uh, to, to someone out there and uh, if you're getting anything out of these videos uh, drop me a line right down there on the uh, YouTube uh, comment uh, page and let me know that you're watching these videos and that you're benefiting from them. Uh, I'm enjoying doing them and sharing some information with uh, the Hammond community and with those of you who want to have increased knowledge uh, regarding your Hammond organs, Leslie speaker operations and 
being able to better maintain your instrument and uh, because uh, I understand the importance of, of doing that. These are very expensive instruments, Hammond organs, Leslie's, and um, you need knowledge to be able to maintain them, keep them up, keep them going, because you want them to sound good. So I hope um, I'm saying some things in these videos that's uh, helping you in that regard. I'm going to uh, call it uh, quits on this particular video, though, and say to you, as I always do, this is Hammond Doc saying to you, peace out.